In this video, we'll learn about procedural clouds in VRA Sun and Sky. I'm using the same scene we used for the VRA Sun and Sky lesson with some minor adjustments. Hey folks, welcome to MoGraph Plus. This video is a free sample from our course, The Ultimate Introduction to VRA for Cinema 4D. It's a massive 13 plus hours course in which we explore all the aspects of VRA for Cinema 4D thoroughly. Make sure to check it out, the link is in the description. Also, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Let's start IPR. and select VRA Sun. You notice we have this Clouds tab. Let's go there and turn on Clouds. Now you get these beautiful procedural clouds in the sky. Let's take a look at some of the parameters here. Density controls the density of the cumulus and stratus types of clouds. Lower values give you less clouds and higher values give you more. For now, set it to 50%. Then we have variety, which at higher values adds more variation to the shape, type, and size of the cumulus and stratus clouds. To see this better, we can go to our camera 0, 2 and decrease the intensity of the sky to 0.5. Now we can try a few variety values. You clearly notice at higher variety values, we get thinner and thicker clouds, smaller and bigger clouds, different shapes, while at lower values, the clouds look very similar. For now, let's set it to the default 30%. For now, get back to camera 04 and increase the intensity of the sky back to 1. Cirrus amount controls the density of the cirrus clouds in the sky. Let's use the default value as well. You can use this longitude and latitude offset values to move the clouds on X and Y. To see how this height parameter works better, let's go to camera 02. Height simply controls the height of the clouds in the sky. The default value is 1000 meters. Now let's get back to camera 04. Thickness controls the thickness of the clouds. At lower values, we get thinner and more translucent clouds. And at higher values, we get thicker and heavier clouds. And longitude and latitude phase values tweak the appearance of the individual clouds ever so slightly to resemble how clouds slightly change their shape based on wind and other natural effects. The appearance of the clouds loops at 0, 100%, 200% and so on. So at 100 increment, but in between values will change the shape of the clouds a bit and you can animate all of these values to get beautiful and dynamic animated clouds. And finally, we have these ground shadows. To see this better, let's go to the second scene for this lesson. And quickly run IPR. When ground shadows is enabled, the clouds will cast shadow, which can be very useful. So that's about the procedural clouds in VRA Sun and Sky. See you in the next one. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com and check out our premium CGI and rendering courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, V-Ray, Redshift and much more. See you in the next one.